Oh, here goes your tires, you buddy. Video, Kyle? Brand new I ones. Can't. You could have at least put the front ones on the back. Those are old ones. Moving right day and night. <laughs> <laughs> and we're supposed to be powered by science. That's very here. true. We better be able to get two people on one train somehow. Here it comes. Yep, that's it. Because every time I'm in his office, he's sitting there and all of a sudden he just reaches like this and there's a piece of chicken in his hand. <laughs> I'm like, how much chicken is under your desk? I overshot the R&D budget this week, so I'm going to need that $250. <laughs> <laughs> Still moving it right day and night. <laughs>
t later today. Uh, next week we're doing our, our how-to series and we're always filming, so get some camera time with a, with a sticker on the wall. Edberto, good morning from El Paso, Texas. Daryl's in, what's up Daryl? He's from Wisconsin. And we got a Coffeeville, Kansas with uh -huh. Heath. All right. Cold weather states, except for Texas. Yeah. I had a guy call in today. He was down in the Keys. I was very jealous of him. I was like, was I haven't Chris? seen. No, it wasn't Chris. It was <laughs> some customer or a customer. And uh, I was like, I haven't seen the sun in weeks here, here in Ohio. Yeah. So oh, yeah. It's, it's been gloomy. pretty gloomy. That'd be nice, right? Go oh. To Florida. Yeah. So we're supposed to have a, uh, a get to know us segment. If you guys watch every week, you know, we try to drag somebody on set and ask them some questions. Uh, we got some new employees. We try to get them on here. They haven't shown up yet. So fingers crossed, maybe we'll get somebody on, but till then we'll, we'll keep it rolling. <laughs> uh, with yeah. TV, we got, we got a whole slate of TV this week. If you want to catch our products on uh, Motor Trend Network. Chad Philman, which which days? Yeah. What are we on? So uh, this Saturday, you got Car Fix at 11 a.m. Uh, that's going to be featuring our Shift Restore. Um, then Sunday, it's Two Guys Garage at 10 a.m. They have Diesel Extreme on, and then All Girls Garage at 11:30 a.m. Some more Shift Restore on. Um, then we got a little Monday through Wednesday of uh, Truck U. So they. Plenty of opportunities to see truck you Monday at 9.30 a.m. with EDT, uh, Tuesday at 9.30 with FR3, then Wednesday a double dip mm. of truck you at 9.30 a.m., Stiction Eliminator, and 10.30 a.m. with FR3. So That's like a that's hot shot TV week right there. It is, yeah. That's a good week. Yeah, so after, I think last week we're pretty, uh, pretty low on TV spots, but this week we have a lot. Right. Yeah. yeah, it'd be good to check it out. Um, Curtis in from Manhattan, Kansas. And Tom says, good afternoon. Hey, Tom. So for those of you who don't know, we do a featured ride of the week on our Facebook page every week. Uh, Chad, he's kind of the master behind behind that. He, he picks the winners randomly, so he says. Yeah. Tell, us, tell us how this works. Well, so uh, Sunday night, we put up a post on Facebook um, and just put your uh, comments in there of your uh, ride. And um, then Monday morning, I go through and I do a random name picker, <laughs> so it is fair. Um, but yeah, this week we had uh, Chris Badlud, um, Backlud uh, win with a pretty cool picture of his semi. Um, I saw that. Wasn't yeah. it like a. Uh, is that a drag? A tow truck or something? Maybe I'm thinking the week prior. Anyway, it's a, it's a cool way to yeah. get your ride featured. And, and it doesn't got to be a diesel truck. No. It can be uh, your tractor. I, submit, I submitted myself on a, on a tractor one week, and they didn't choose me as the, the featured ride. And I was kind of heartbroken about that. But whatever you got, post it up. We'll, yeah, I'll uh, take tractors, even your push mower. Push mowers? <laughs> if you okay. have like a pimped out push mower. Yeah. Yeah, with some chrome wheels maybe. Golf carts? Golf carts, oh yeah. Maybe. Yeah. Um, yeah, we'll take anything. Scooters, motorcycles. <laughs> if it has wheels. Yeah, yeah. So we got some, some exciting stuff here going on at Hot Shot Seeker. One of, the, one of those items is our um, adventure with Steve Summers. If you've uh, been on our, our Facebook page or been following us here on our live videos, we've been talking about this for a couple of weeks. Um, we partnered with Steve Summers, and we're launching the Steve Summers Overnight Drive radio program. It's a... Uh, it's a live program. You can call in, ask Steve questions, banter back and forth on uh, trucking news, weather, whatever it may be. And uh, we're, we're super excited because we're just a couple days away from launch, right? Yeah. We got um, Kyle and Josh are down there today, and they were down there yesterday just fine-tuning things, getting uh, making sure every, all the equipment's hooked up, uh, internet strong, all that good stuff. So super excited about that. Yeah, I can't wait to... Uh Probably not tune in live. Well, I thought that was part of the launch was that Chad had to stay up yeah. every night for the first week and listen to the yeah. show live. I usually go to bed at 10, so <laughs> um, 
I'll probably be watching the replay, you know. Right, because it it's min midnight to 5 a.m., which is uh, Steve came from America's Trucking Network on uh, WLW based out of Cincinnati. Mm -hmm. And uh, that was his time slot, min midnight to 5, so we're going to stick with that. And um, hopefully a lot of his, his followers will, will jump over. And, and uh, I think it'll be fun. Um, we'll cover a, a wide range of topics. And the cool thing is, is he's a radio guy, so a lot of people right. obviously listen to him. But we're throwing video on top of it so people can tune in and actually watch Steve, watch him in the studio, uh, which is a whole new dynamic to it, which I don't know how he feels about it, but I know I'm excited. Yeah, and I know his followers are too. We yeah. have tons of great feedback from this. So, so we're excited. That starts uh, Monday night, yep. right? Midnight to 5, Monday night. So we, um, we're going live, Facebook, YouTube. Mm -hmm. That's where you can catch the, the first at least week, two, three weeks of, of shows. Uh, beyond there, we're, we're, we're getting it um, up on a podcast platforms. Once the show is recorded, we're going to take that recording and put it up on a podcast. All your, your favorite uh, podcast platforms, we hope to be there. We also, uh, as this kind of unfolds, we want to add uh, radio stations, the terrestrial radio stations, um, even satellite radio down the road. So. Um, initial launch, we're going with the, the Hot Shot, secret Facebook and YouTube pages, and then we're going to expand that, that broadcast. So um, stay tuned for those, those updates as they roll out. And what else? We, we got, uh, of course, yeah, stay in the loop, right? Stay in the loop uh, of everything going on here at Hot Shot Secret, including sales, news, and blogs. Subscribe to our email newsletter. Stay up to date on news and exclusive deals at hotshotsecret.com slash email. So. There you go. That's how you sign up. Um, all right, we got, we got a question from Heath. Heath asks, Chad, which one has more cetane, EDT or Diesel Extreme? Do you know the answer to that? I don't. Diesel Extreme? No, they're actually, uh, they? they're both real concentrated cetane boosters. Um, you, out of both products, you're going to get about seven point boost in cetane. Uh, so either way you go, you're going to get that cetane. Now, Diesel Extreme, is the more concentrated injector cleaner. That's really what, what separates them is the, the cleaning capabilities. Diesel extreme is like brushing your teeth as far as cleaning and then uh, everyday diesel treatment, or I'm sorry, diesel extreme is like going to the dentist. EDT is like brushing your teeth every day. But as far as all the other benefits, the, the cetane, the lubricity, water dispersant, that's in both products. So Heath, if you want that, that strong cetane every tank, make sure you're running a, a good fuel, then EDT is the way to go and then run diesel extreme periodically. Hopefully that answers your question. Mike says hi from Cresswell, Oregon. Have you ever been to Oregon? I have not, no. I want to. That's on my bucket list yeah. of Northwest. Um, Daryl says he can't wait for Steve to come on. And James says hello. I wonder, so Steve's going to be pretty well tied up this, these first couple of weeks with the new show um, and his sleep schedule. I don't know what his sleep schedule yeah, is he's like. A, yeah. <laughs> Midnight to five. But uh, we'll have to get him on our, our Facebook Live shows periodically let him jump on and kind of update you guys on if he's awake if he's awake maybe yeah, eating I don't know. his breakfast you know right <laughs> we'll see yeah um so what you said we got a we do giveaways right that's right um yeah this week's prize is some diesel extreme um you can sign up each week at hotshotsecret.com slash giveaway um to be a winner and as a bonus if you comment before the end of the show mm. um we'll give you a t-shirt Nice. Hot Shot Secret T-shirt, and uh, the winner this week, his email or their email is srw1168 at something dot com something. or that net or whatever it is. You can't give his email out. Yeah, <laughs> but yeah, so srw1168. So if you're watching, comment um, here now. We'll throw in a T-shirt and then. Once the show's over, I'll be uh, emailing you, get your information, and Good deal. We'll get that out to you. Good deal. And uh, Lori says hi from Youngstown with a very familiar last name, yeah. Lori Gabralchik. Um, hey, Lori, thanks for watching. Um, Youngstown, I know that's uh, stopping grounds of Chris, and um, we, we got some stuff going on. Some, yeah. Some people we're working with in Youngstown, so that's that's fun. But that's uh, that's for another day. <laughs>
All right, uh, Diesel Extreme. It's uh, we'll, we'll jump into it a little bit. It's one of our best sellers, uh, and I think the reason why is because most people notice feedback pretty darn quick when they try it. Not only because, um, as he brought up the c tame but also the injector cleaner. Um, you, you go in, you clean out the deposits, and also you're, you're improving the combustibility of that fuel. People typically see feedback uh, rather quickly in terms of horsepower and torque and fuel economy and uh, even DPF regeneration cycles we've seen get cut down. Mm -hmm. uh, so Diesel Extreme is actually in just about every retailer that you can find Hot Shot Secret products. So that's across the board. We're talking our farm stores, the, the tractor supplies, the Royal Kings, um, the O'Reilly Auto Parts, AutoZone. So if, if you, you got a store that you know Hot Shots is in, you can find the Diesel Extreme. So um, if you need it, obviously you can find it in store. Or go to our website, hotshotsecret.com. So we know this is always a good test for employees. We know Diesel Extremes is six in one. So there's six benefits, primary benefits from it. Um, I, I see on my paper here, Chad has them listed out, <laughs> but I'm gonna ask you without looking, can you name the six? Injector. Without counting on your fingers uh, either. Injector cleaner, octane boost. Uh, no, 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 no. Cetane. C tank. Yeah, we're talking diesel. Yeah, C tank boost. Yeah, um, lubricity. Yep. Uh, probably a stabilizer in there. Yep. Um, yeah, that's all I got. Maybe corrosion. Corrosion, yeah. rusted corrosion inhibitors, and the last one is a water dispersant. Um, especially, those two kind of go hand in hand. If you don't disperse the water, you're going to have issues with rust in your lines on your tank. Uh, so you got to make sure that gets taken care of. So those are the six, and uh, of course all those. Those are the, the, the features, if you will, right? But there's benefits to all those. We've talked about injector cleaner. One, it's going to just improve overall performance because you're getting all that junk out of the system. Um, and we know injector replacements can mm -hmm. cost thousands of dollars. So you, you clean out any deposits that are built up, not only on the tip of the injectors, which is the most common external diesel injector deposits, which can affect spray pattern and timing and cause knocking, all kinds of different issues. But within the past, oh, about 10 years, the past decade, there's a, a new issue with diesel fuel and fuel injectors where there's deposits that actually build up on the internal parts of the injector. So these are called internal diesel injector deposits. And the reason why it's, it's a rather new problem is because since the intro, introduction of ultra low sulfur diesel, all these stops in the supply chain of diesel fuel these guys are trying to help that lubricity, right? Mm -hmm. They're trying to prop that back up. So uh, the fuel jobbers, the refineries, um, even the, maybe even the station, maybe you got a local station who adds their own additives to the, to the product, to the fuel. Well, the problem is all these different lubricity additives and, and things that these people are adding to the fuel don't always mix really well. And that leads to these real hard to get rid of deposits that form inside the injectors and um, it takes a certain kind of chemical, a certain chemistry to get those cleaned out, which a lot of your injector cleaners on the market do not have. But we made sure to put that in, in Diesel Extreme. So um, if you want to learn about internal diesel injector deposits or even the common coking deposits, the external deposits, uh, we got some good stuff up on our YouTube. Jump over mm -hmm. there. Uh, we've covered it in a bunch right. of different blogs. Um, so as a diesel owner, that's just a new problem that you may want to stay up on and kind of understand because it can cause a lot of problems. And we talked about DPF regens, right? Right. We did a, uh, this was uh, maybe two years ago, we, we partnered with um, the state of, uh, or the city of Columbus here in Ohio. And we took a couple of their trucks. Um, I can't remember off the top of my head. I think it was one of their, uh, F-350s and maybe, uh, I, I don't remember the other truck. But anyways, we, we, we wanted to test the effectiveness of fuel additives on regeneration cycles. So those of us who have emission systems, we know this can kind of be a, a pain. Um, so what we found is we did a mix of diesel extreme and our everyday diesel treatment. So the, the two-step that we often pitch on the fuel side. And uh, they were averaging, so they would do uh, manual regions. They would bring the trucks in. They would, they mm -hmm. would take their techs, and they would uh, manually clean out these, these DPFs. 
So we got them on the, this, the routine of running diesel extreme every 6,000 miles and then pumping everyday diesel treatment in every time they filled up. And uh, before, they were averaging about 36 free gins a year, uh, if I'm not mistaken. So um, 36 a year. Then once we got them on our, our maintenance schedule, that dropped down to six times a year. And um, obviously, that's incredibly helpful for them in terms of time and, and right. downtime, right? Mm -hmm. But the other thing was saving tons of money because they're, they're manual region. So they're, they're paying these techs and um, spending the time to do all this. So um, if you're having issues with DPF regions, um, maybe you, you're in a state that you need to, to run through um, the DOT or, or whatever it may be. You need to get checked for emissions. Um, check out our, our two-step fuel system. We've seen really good results with that. So we got Heath trying back in. Yeah. He says every tank in his 15 LML Duramax, he adds at least 16 ounces of EDT and 16 ounces <laughs> of LX4. Who Heath. Um, he says he goes above and beyond. As Kyle says, I keep the light on there at hot <laughs> shots. Um, yeah, that's for sure. Um, Heath, uh, we, we appreciate it. Right. Um, that's a little overkill, but, you know, you're doing your thing, so... Um, we, we typically get questions like that. If I add extra, is it going to hurt anything? Will I get any extra benefits? Um, well, no, it's not going to hurt anything. We've done plenty of no harm testing, and we know all that. But um, we always tell people, look, we're about the customer. No reason to, to essentially waste the money because once you reach a certain point, you may get a little bit extra uh, of performance or protection, but there's going to be diminishing returns at some point. So, um, hey, Heath, do your right. thing, man. We appreciate it. And uh, he also says, removing the water is just as important as the other benefits because the higher percentage in biodiesel, the more it holds the water. That, that's a really good point. He says, I'm not ever afraid of overdosing the additives. Yeah, so just <laughs> like we said, don't really need to, to be too concerned about right. that. So what else you got here on Diesel Extreme? You know, I guess, you know, the usage, you know, every six months or 6,000 miles. Mm -hmm. um, and I think a question we get a lot, you know, can I use this with my EDT? Mm -hmm. And that's a pretty common question. Yeah. Um, and again, uh, the way I, I like to explain the two different products, our diesel extreme compared to our everyday diesel treatment, is the formula is very similar. The, the biggest difference, like I mentioned before, is the level of injector cleaner in diesel extreme is much higher. Uh, and that's also why the treat ratio is a bit different. Mm -hmm. So if you're using them both at the same time, you know, you're not going to hurt anything, uh, but you don't need to. Um, just stick with the treat rate of every 6,000 miles, right. and, and you'll be good with Diesel Extreme. Yeah. Went over the treat ratio here. Two quarts, you know, treat 160 gallons of diesel fuel. Yeah, yeah. that's the, this bottle here. Right. And the quart here is 80. And this... The, the quart bottle is the one that you're typically going to find in the retailers. Um, the one quart's at O'Reilly's. I think the two quart is actually at Tractor Supply. Um, so, so depending on, on where you shop, you'll find different sizes out there. All right, we got a question from James. Mm -hmm. He's asking, what's your best product for the 7.3 style injector and also best for the LP5 and above freezing temperatures? Uh, well, James, that's, that's a great question. So the 7.3, we're talking about the Huey injectors, um, which we know is being fired by high pressure oil. So we got somewhere on the set Stiction Eliminator. It's kind of counterintuitive, right? To think that an oil additive is gonna help your fuel injectors, but in the case of the Huey injectors, which is in the 7.3 power strokes, the six liter power strokes. Um, it's gonna do wonders because it gets so hot inside those injectors. Um, there's so much pressure that oil begins to essentially just cook and sizzle. Mm -hmm. And that's the, the term stiction is you get these deposits built up and then there's a sticky friction and it's not moving as well as it should be. And uh, injectors can even get hung up. So on the oil side for the 7.3s and the 6.0s and for the injectors in particular, we know stiction is an issue with every engine out there. 
Uh, but Stiction Eliminator is going to be the, the product on the oil side for those injectors. Um, and then on the fuel side, both for the 7.3 um, and what, what was the other one he's asking about? The LP5. Above freezing temperatures. Um, yeah, diesel extreme. Every 6,000 miles, uh, if you haven't treated the fuel in a while, run diesel extreme through the first tank. Just get a good, deep clean. And then um, once you do that, the next product. EDT? EDT, yep. everyday diesel treatment. Uh, it's got everything you need for the fuel. You know, today's fuel, today's diesel fuel, I should say, because gasoline is much more refined and specked right. out and there's not as many issues. But diesel fuel, there's a lot of issues. Um, you know, if you go, if you pump, if you fill up at one pump and you go across the street, the fuel could be totally different. Quality wise, it's going to be across the board. So uh, it's important as a diesel owner to treat that fuel. Um, lack of lubricity in the fuel, mm -hmm. cetane levels often do not meet requirements. Um, a lot of times issues with, with moisture, and a lot of people don't know this, but diesel fuel can actually go bad rather quickly. It, it begins to oxidize in a matter of sometimes two, three weeks. Um, so uh, that's why a fuel stabilizer is important too with any additive program that you're running. So James, that's, that's my quick answer on uh, on those products for those those applications. Back to back to Diesel Extreme. Um, we we sometimes get questions about our products and emissions equipment. Mm -hmm. I talked briefly about DPF regens and how we're helping that. So, um, anybody have any questions about products of ours and compatibility with emissions equipment? There's no issues. Um, so yeah, nothing to worry about there. And that, that goes for even our uh, gas extreme on, on the mm -hmm. gas applications. Now, when you get into our oils, there's some, um, there's some exceptions. We have a, a black diamond PAO oil, which is super high in zinc. And mm -hmm. um, the additive package there is very robust. So that's for uh, older vehicles, non-DPF trucks. And uh, of course, the, the, the adrenaline line, the racing oils, um, those, that's a whole different monster, right? So that's for off-road use. So uh, we do have some products that you gotta be conscious of, emissions equipment, but most of our products, all of our additives, you'll be, you'll be good there. And then Matt has a question. He says, is, is it okay to run an anti-gel even if it's not below freezing? Uh, so the short answer is yes. Um, I won't speak about some competitor products. Um, I will say, I, you know, I don't imagine any issues, um, but with ours, our diesel winter anti-gel, which second shelf, right here. diesel winter anti-gel is essentially our everyday diesel treatment just winterized. So, there you go. So, the treat rate's a bit different. Um, it takes more per gallon to treat with our diesel winter anti-gel, but the reason why is because it has those, those added properties. Um, it has everything our EDT and Diesel Extreme does. Um, you know, the, the cetane, the lubricity, right. uh, water dispersal, everything you need, plus the anti-gel properties. So that's, we, we peg that as actually a seven in one because it mm -hmm. does everything that the others do, plus the anti-gel. You can run it above freezing temps. You can run it all year round if you wanted to. Right. Um, no issues there. But when you start to get to the, that freezing temp, that, that 32 and below, you want to make sure you have an anti-gel in the fuel prior to those freezing temperatures, uh, because if you if if you go out in the morning and and it's 15 degrees and you try to add an anti-gel, a lot of the times it's too little, too late. Right. That fuel is already starting to, to gel up, and that pour point uh, is getting rougher and rougher. So, um, short answer is yeah, above freezing is fine. Uh, just make sure you have some on hand if you do travel to, to cold refinements. And right. speaking of cold starts, um, we have a note here on Diesel Extreme that it improves cold starts, eliminates excessive black smoke. Um, two things there that improves cold starts. Um, the biggest reason why is because of the cetane boost. We're talking seven points in cetane boost. Essentially, uh, I think maybe Aaron did a science corner on this at one point. But essentially, the, the cetane makes that feel more combustible. Um, because it's compressed, and that's how you get that ignition. It's not like gasoline. There's not a spark plug. So you need, you need this fuel to be very combustible. 
And that cetane is, is what's aiding in that, right? The higher the cetane, the more combustible the fuel is. So the higher cetane rating, you go to start up in the morning, um, or even you know afternoon, the truck's been sitting for a while. That's how you're getting those better cold starts. That fuel's easier to ignite. Mm -hmm. um, takes less time. You know, you got to crank it over to finally get it to fire up. Um, and then eliminates excessive black, black smoke. A lot of time that is attributed to deposits in the, in the fuel system, um, especially on the injector side. So diesel extreme goes in, cleans out those deposits, both internal and external. Um, and then you're getting just better flow of the fuel. Uh, injectors are, are firing more uh, correctly, if you will, right? How they're supposed to. Right. And it just cleans up any of that, that excess smoke. So that's kind of the reasoning behind those. Got anything, anything else to add to, to Diesel Extreme? I don't think so. No? Yeah. I will say Diesel Extreme is, like I said, it's one of our best sellers. And um, that's why when we sponsor, when you partner and sponsor with a lot of these different racing uh, programs and, and series, um, a lot of times we will become the official fuel additive of. And Diesel Extreme is a lot of times that additive. Right. It's, it's the, so Diesel Extreme is the official fuel additive of UCC, the ultimate call out challenge. Um, our, one of our favorites, Outlaw Diesel Super Series. Uh, the Northwest Dino Circuit. We have uh, NTPA, National Tractors right. Pulling Association. It's the official fuel added above. And um, yeah. yeah, Josh was waiting on that. Josh was <laughs> waiting on the tractor pull plug. Um, so a lot of times you got, if you go to any of these events, you'll, you'll see Diesel Extreme um, somewhere, right? Whether it's at our booth, somebody else's. So, if I don't have uh, any other questions, you know, no. we, I, I was watching last week. You guys had issues with, with comments. Are you seeing any that I'm not getting? Um, my last one is from Matt. I guess James saying thanks. So that's okay. where I'm at with those questions. We're good. So if you guys got any other questions, give them in quickly. Otherwise, we don't have anything else. No, we're we're going to get back to work, yeah. unfortunately. We can talk sports if you want. We can kill some time. Yeah. I got, yeah, our guests never Our guests showed never up. showed up. They're probably lost. They're new people, so. Can we, uh, can we grab somebody? We'll see if we can track down a guest. Because um, we, we just recently brought in some new faces here at Team Hot Shots. And, um. For all of our dealers out there, and hopefully new new dealers that come on board, we have uh, a couple of new account executives who's going to be serving, I believe. Uh, so Mike and Larry, um, mm -hmm. we have. I can't remember who's who, but we got one of them on the West Coast. So uh, your California, Arizona, Oregon, Washington, and then we got somebody in the Midwest. Um, again, Mike or Larry, I'm not sure which, but they'll be covering Texas and and really that whole. I don't think it's Mo, so I think we're good. What's that? It's not Mo, Larry, Curly, and Mo. Oh, right, yeah, no, <laughs> no. Um, so if you're a dealer or would like to become a dealer, obviously let us know, but you'll be hearing from, from Mike and Larry. And um, if you call in with questions, we have a, a customer service uh, agent, Abby, who's going to be helping us out. She's, yeah. she's new here, coming on board, trying to learn the curve. And, um, you know, we're excited. We're excited. A lot of new, new faces here. Big things happening. Um, it's crazy to think, Pastor. You came on six months ago. Right. Um, all the changes and all the exciting oh, yeah. things that's happened just in six months. All the new people and. I mean, shoot, we're launching a radio program. Right. Whoever thought that. Yeah, I wouldn't have guessed, <laughs> right? Yeah. So it's an exciting time. Mm -hmm. um, well, if we don't got a guest, we don't have any more questions. Chad, if you don't got a joke for us. I have a joke. Um, just hopefully uh, the Steelers can win this week. Knock on wood. We're in Ohio, so we got to yeah. be careful talking about the Steelers. We do. Maybe. Okay. Yeah. Uh, stretch. Stretch. Yeah, stretch it out here. I got a question for you. Any, uh, if there's sports fans out there, chime in because I'm in a dire spot in my fantasy football. Uh, I finished in last place. Uh, my wife finished in <laughs> third place. So don't ask me how that happened. Yeah, she beat me. <laughs> um, 
But I finished last place, so I get the first pick next year. Right. Who do you take? I don't know. I don't know. Christian McCaffrey, Dalvin Cook, right. Devontae Adams. Someone new? It's a tough choice. Derrick Henry? Yeah. I don't know. Oh, James. James is a Browns fan. He said, oh. go Browns. Hmm. Um, but we shall see this weekend. Right. It'll be interesting. Um, different James. Not yeah. James Bruce. James Miskey Men. Am I saying that right? Are you from Ohio, James? Because that would make sense if you're a Browns fan. Uh, Matt chimed in. He says he didn't know that we made oil. <laughs> um, yeah, Matt, we've been making oil for 20 years. <laughs> yeah. Uh, no, it's, it's not a joke. We've had our blue diamond line of oil for uh, really since the company started. Uh, but we have expanded that. We, we got our blue diamond, our green diamond. We have European uh, engine mm -hmm. oil. Uh, we have a whole line of racing oil, so came a long way. We got semi-synthetic, full synthetic, uh, full PAO, which is a, uh, a group four, so a step above your typical full synthetic you'll see. So uh, we got 1030, 1540, um, whatever you need. Check out the website. It's some really good stuff there. We got some good testing, some good data. Um, Larry, we got okay, so we're gonna have a get to know us segment. Wow. And James said, "Yeah, he's." It, he said it will be sad, but yes, he, yes, he is. He's from Ohio. There he is. He finally got done eating lunch. It's not a good look. First week on the job, and you take a three-hour lunch break. No. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, These are really hard questions. Yeah. So. Or difficult. Larry, take a mic, have a seat. Okay. So, uh, welcome to our Facebook Live show. Thank you. you. You know about this, right? That we do this every week. I'm I'm currently a follower. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Good deal. So, every week we, we try to bring in somebody to do a, a quick get to know us segment. Okay. You got pegged this week. Oh boy. Uh, we just got dragged in, so we'll go rapid fire. We got ten quick questions, maybe a bonus question if Chad has one for it. Uh, First and foremost, how did you find out about Hot, hot Shots? Uh, actually, the mic there. actually I, I found out through, um, well, through the hiring process. Uh, <laughs> and uh, then after that, I mean, uh, during the interview, they told me about the product. And then I'd done some uh, research through um, the Internet and uh, Facebook. Yeah. And now I'm a follower. And... Uh, Kind of have to be. It's oh a yeah. Requirement oh, yeah. of job. <laughs> yeah. After I seen the product and the whole process of things, uh, it's something I believe in. Good so. deal. He's a believer now. Too. He's a believer. <laughs> Follower you're and close. a believer. You're uh, about 30 minutes from our headquarters here, so. Yeah. Yep. Easy drive for you. Uh, where were you born? Uh, I was actually born in Mansfield, Ohio. Okay. Uh, 1971. Oh, you don't gotta tell people that. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where'd you grow up? Uh, Mansfield. Same place. Yep. All right. Uh, first job. Uh, I was going to college and I worked at a place in Shelby, as Shelby De Depot called uh, Acro. Okay. So it worked warehouse, uh, loading trucks, and that kind of huh. stuff. Okay. Like a warehouse type job? Yep. Okay. Yep. I got you. Uh, what was your first car? Uh, 1979, 1978 Ford Granada. Oh. It was a boat. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. 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 Had pleather seats, you know. Yep. Ooh, of course. Uh, did you play sports growing up? Uh, I did some football. Um, that's pretty much it. I was I was in the band. I was okay. a drummer. So nice. Percussionist, yeah. We got to get a hot shot secret band together. Yeah. And Aaron, R&D Aaron, he, he's, he plays. I just got a Pearl set in, my, in the yeah. basement, yeah. so ready to. There you go. Hook up. I'll try to learn the spoons or tambourine or something. <laughs> yeah. I don't, I'm not musically inclined. Um, but going to sports, I mean, you, there's more to your sports too, right? Uh, I, I mean, I did some football. Then uh, after after I graduated, I did uh, Taekwondo. Yeah. So uh, love that. That's one of the best things I've done in my life as far as confidence builder mm -hmm. and, and seeing what I could do. Yeah. So. Very cool. 
Uh, do you have a favorite hobby? Uh, it's usually music. I mean, yeah. you know, right now, um, being a stepdad, a dad, um, that keeps me pretty busy. So yeah. hobbies are on the backside. So fair enough. I understand that. Favorite holiday? Uh, St. Patrick's Day. There Ooh. you go. <laughs> That's, That's mine <laughs> too. That's a good one. St. Patty's. Yeah. yeah. We Gotta haven't got to me those. Yeah, love to celebrate St. Patty's. Well, this leads right into that. Favorite be beverage? Uh, I'm a Miller Lite guy. Okay. So, um, nothing too complicated. Yeah. And uh, winter time, I like my bourbon, whiskeys. Mm -hmm. so. Okay. And last but not least, favorite TV show or movie? Um, a favorite movie was Remember the Titans. Oh, yeah. Denzel Washington. Yeah. Uh, that's probably my favorite. Um, I was a big Star Wars buff as a kid. And, yeah. You know, and enjoyed that. Um, TV shows, that's uh, whatever my wife watches on Netflix. So, so Flavor you know. of the week. Yeah. 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 All right, you got a bonus question? Where'd you go for lunch? <laughs> Subway. Subway, okay. <laughs> so, well, good deal. Yeah. Yep. All right, round of applause. Anything else? Nope, that's it. Nope. Glad to be here, guys. Thank yeah, you. Appreciate yeah, appreciate you. Welcome to the team, and thanks for being on our Facebook Live show. Oh, thank you. Oh, uh, Toot joined. Uh, he says, first car, 57 Chevy. How about that? All right, Chad. That's yep. all we got. That's all we have here, yep. Till next time. Yep. So next week, uh, same time, same place, Thursday, 1.30. Uh, we'll have some some updates on the Steve Summers Overnight Drive show. Uh, that'll be, what, three, four shows in at that yeah. point. So that'll be exciting. And um, Josh and Kyle should be back. So we'll, we'll hear, hopefully they have fun down in Cincinnati. And... Uh, that's all I got. Yeah. So, yeah. So, thanks for joining us, everybody. We'll we'll see you guys next week.